the bond between hockey teammates is unlike that of any other sport. It's something really special and unique to our sport and our team, I think. Just being part of the hockey community here and being part of this team for four years has just meant more than you can honestly put into words. Cav was one of the more coachable guys that we had on the team. And if there's anybody on the team in my two years that I think has listened, grown, and improved as a player, I wish I had had Cav two more years, to be honest with you. I just think he's got more. He's got more that he can do. And I think he needs to have another, he needs to refine it a little bit. He needs to keep simplifying a little bit. But I think Cav's best hockey is still in front of him. Obviously the Trinity loss stings big time, especially for me as a senior and the rest of the seniors, that definitely hurts. Um, and that's gonna hurt for a little bit, but you kind of just have to look at the big picture uh, at this point. It's kind of the overall change of culture and the progress that we've made. I think that in six years, I think we're gonna be consistently one of the top four schools in the NESCAC. Uh, I believe we're gonna have a stable culture in play and a stable, a group of expectations that the team is supposed to have every single year. I believe that Tufts Hockey's days are changing. From being that team that would not win to that team that could pull off an upset, it's going to be a team that will be a favorite right from the start. And I believe that there will be leaders who will continue to step up, who will carry the legacy forward and make this program stronger than ever in days to come. Uh, I think that there's a lot of push and, and uh, optimism towards the, the possibility of a new rink on campus. I think that part is an exciting piece. So I think we're at a point where we're moving forward, but we've got to do a lot of things still to keep getting better. Now moving forward, I guess you just kind of got to stick to what we've done well and kind of what we've changed over the course of the four years. When I first got here, we only won four games and we were becoming a better program, but the results weren't there. And now we're kind of starting to see the results take form. The numbers are trending in the right direction, and the overall culture is as well. The players are getting better, the league's getting better. So in order to stay competitive, we have to keep improving. And I believe we are. What I want the program to be in is a position where we're consistently knocking on the door. If we're always hosting home games, if we're always in that top three or four, then eventually we're going to give ourselves a chance to win that, that NESCAC championship and then the next goal would be to focus on getting to the national championship. You know, but we can't, we got to get first goals first and that's getting to where we need to be in the NESCAC. Guys should be realizing, hey, we're close and should have the fire to push forward. You know, we got to walk into the rink believing that we're the best team. We got to do the actions and, and make the statements off the ice and on the ice that are going to help us do that. But when we walk into the rink, we've got to have the confidence and the swagger to know that we're the best team.